Hi there, my name is Robson Jr. This is the slideshow that accompanies our full paper Supporting Watershed Literacy with a Desktop Virtual Reality Exploration Game. I hope you can join us virtually in iLearn Campus. These are the main aspects of our work. Immersive Technologies, Play Space Education, and Gameful Design for Learning. Place-based education leverages specific geographical areas' unique traits to promote learning based on students' lived experiences and to foster learners' sense of place and belonging. Digital game-based educational materials have increased students' learning performance across disciplines, and games have the power of bringing people together by promoting learning motivation across socioeconomic statuses and cultural contexts. This work focuses more specifically on watershed literacy, which is the ability to recognize, identify, and define essential watershed interrelated features and issues, such as defining the term watershed, identify our own watershed and how they connect to the ocean via natural and or built structures, as well as recognizing that natural processes and human activities affect both water flow and quality in our watersheds. Uh, so the issue is that the problem we are trying to solve is that the concept of a watershed is still misunderstood by adults and children alike. The following research question drove our investigation. To what extent does playing the desktop VR exploration prototype game impact middle school learners' watershed literacy? Meet Lenny, Mira, Lance and Della Demieu. Join them in a kayak adventure down the Lehigh River to explore the Lehigh River watershed's rich environment and history. In this game, the DNL National Canal Museum hired you to make a recommendation to strategically improve community engagement and tourism along the Lehigh River. The watershed explorers will support you throughout this journey. Della coordinates the team and manages transportation. Lenny will ensure your safety and fun while navigating the waters of the Lehigh River. Mira describes the environmental features of each visited location. Lance shares his wisdom and anecdotes of the Lehigh Valley. You're equipped with mobile technology that automatically collects data and summarizes your observations while you enjoy the scenery of each location you visit. Whenever you need, your Explorer tools can be accessed with the Progress menu. There you will find Della informs with the useful information of your expedition. The journal keeps notes of what each watershed explorer tells you. A gallery that saves visual information you find along the way. And a glossary to explain and illustrate the meaning of some specific terms. You can enjoy this adventure in English or Spanish. And rest assured that the watershed explorers will assist you in your task. The lives of the Lehigh River watershed residents and visitors can be positively improved depending on your observations and contributions. So, take your time, review the rich selection of materials you collect along the way, and answer each question proposed by the watershed explorers with the best of your abilities. Can't wait to get started? Contact me at junior at lehigh.edu to find out how you can become a watershed explorer as well. This study took place in the summer of 2021 with middle school students aged 10 to 14 years old the desktop version VR of Watershed Explored was used in online web browsers. The data collection was embedded in the game. As you could see in the video, Unity was used for development and Google Forms and spreadsheets for the data collection measures. Our data collection instruments included the Watershed Literacy Content Assessment, which was done pre and post test, and a demographic survey at the end of the intervention. 66 participants completed only the pre-test and 35 participants completed both pre-test and post-test. 
Content-wise, validity check was done with four experts from the environmental education with technology field. Psychometrically, we ran rationalysis analysis for reliability. So watershed literacy instrument was found to be reliable with a 0.87 reliability, ratio reliability index and a separation coefficient of 2.59, which means there was at least two different types of questions in the instrument, which is correct. Uh, that's why uh, we decided to use the partial credit model because there was more than one type of score in the instrument. We had uh, true or false questions, so there was either one or another correct question, and we also had two multiple choice questions. Findings from the item infit and outfit analysis suggest low likelihood for multidimensionality since all the nine items were within the conventional mean square feet ranges of 0.70 and 130 uh, for multiple choice questions of mid or low stakes tests, just like our uh, test was not like a school test for scores or standardized tests. It was just for us to check how uh, were these participants doing in terms of their watershed literacy. Usually, we use either one or the other, but luckily and fortunately, we had the two uh, parameters with similar results. We also conducted a confirmatory factor analysis on the watershed literacy measure, and the findings from the, C the principal component analysis with very max rotation aligned with our sub, uh, original conceptualized subscales. These three fixed factors, they accounted for about 53% of the total variance, and uh, five items, four, five, seven, eight, and nine, they uh, correspond to the original subscales that we uh, originally conceptualized, as well as had factor loadings above 0.7 and had low correlation with the other uh, subscales. We also conducted a paired sample t-tests pre and post tests with our uh, scores of the watershed literacy measure. Before we did the analysis, we recoded uh, the entire data set into dichotomy, dichotomous values, either zero for incorrect and one for correct. And what we found that the identify subscale came out to be statistically significant. And just for us to remember, uh, it was the items regarding identifying our own watershed and how they connect to the ocean artificially or naturally. So uh, the findings partially supports the, our hypothesis that using watershed explorers as a curriculum enhancement activity can positively impact middle school students' watershed literacy. There was high variability in the responses, but we believe that it's because this software was in initially developed for uh, adolescents 13 years old up to senior citizens. And we you applied this study with middle school students. And watershed explorers can be improved with more opportunities for students to develop their system thinking abilities by depicting the Lehigh River watershed as a complex system. The prototype DVR game plays as a curriculum enhancement activity positively impacted the middle school students' watershed literacy. Dissemination of VR exploration games with web browsers in schools hold potential for environmental education, especially about one's local watershed features and issues. Based on feedback of the teachers that participated in the study with their students, the time was not enough for them to complete watershed explorers in one sitting and they also face network issues, so that might explain our participant attrition. Uh, we also did know the scope and sequence of the curriculum that they were using at the summer schools, and the amount of reading might have impacted uh, the experience for these middle school students.